Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video. So on today's video, we're gonna be working on this 5.3 right here that we have for the LS swap notch. As you guys know, the motor blew a couple months back and I've been kind of just, you know, chilling. I've had this 5.3 for a while. It's stock to my knowledge. All it has is ARP head studs and I'm not too sure if it has anything else. I know the valve, the valve springs look stock, so I'm assuming it's a stock cam. But today we're gonna be putting a cam in this thing. Um, we're gonna be going with the sloppy stage two cam and some pack racing valve springs. And we're gonna be doing the Trion, Trion or however you say that, upgrade kit. Cause I know that's a big upgrade you could do to these motors. And yeah, so my cousin's on the way right now with the cam. I left it at my dad's house, so he's picking that up right now. And yeah, sounds like, is that him? Nah, it's not his car. But yeah, he's on the way right now, and once he gets here, we'll start installing this thing. He has done, I believe, two of them. I've never done a cam swap on a V8, so he's going to come over here and show us. And he says it's pretty easy, so it should be pretty straightforward. But yeah, guys, I'm glad we're finally getting some work done, and hopefully you get this engine thrown in there, and hopefully make some cool power. But now that's him. So let's open up the garage. For the YouTubers, boy, my boy in the Beamer. We had to go get another pulley, puller, because AutoZone is fucking dumb. But damn, my boy Saucy, even though he got soda cans on the floor and shit, Red Bulls. But bro, this motherfucker really look like a freaking gas can, bro. I know that shit's huge. So if you guys are doing your cam and you need to pull out your crank pulley, make sure you get the big boy. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, shooting gunshots, boy. Oh, man. He an you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me take off. See a pool in this motherfucker, brother. Little baby pool, man. Sheesh. Sir, step one, remove the well, crank. Yeah, first you take off the bowl, obviously, and then you set this up to hug it. And we're just using like a random bolt to push this rod, this rod in there. And then that's what pulls the, the pulley. Yes, sir. And just twist this. Okay. So, damn near. We had to change bolts. Yeah, because uh, a little too big. But. Pick the right one. Now I should pull it. I hope. <laughs> should. Yeah, it's pulling it right. Yeah, it's coming out. There you go. Be careful doing this because you could fuck up your crank. So you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, you could. Let's see if it's on my foot. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. We're getting a workout in. Yeah, man. That's what I'm saying. I'm big, too. Yeah, this shit ain't messed out. Boom. There you go. So, oil would have started coming out, right? Or no? Yeah, I think so. Well, I think the lower level would be this, so we'll find out right now. Yeah. So now we take the cover off. Yeah. All right. Well, that should be. Cover off. Now taking the oil pump off. All right. What happened? This fucker. And the bar right there. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's a 10. You got to yeah. open it. Now we got to put it atop this center. We took the oil pump off already. Probably already was or what? Yeah, but I think it was on the wrong stroke because the the cam gear and the crank gear they have a you have to match yeah it. you have to align. There we go. Well, I forgot compression, boy. Yeah, help you, boy. Okay. Oh, fucking probably take the spark plugs off. 
might make it easier. Are they kind of loose? Yeah, they're all fucking loose. Still. No, we took the timing chain off. Take this plate off. And then this is something that most people don't change. Yeah, if you feel that. Oh, there's like nothing to it. Yeah, anymore. so. I'm all going. It's so pretty much oil runs through here. And then, you know, obviously this seals that oil and starts leaking and then yeah you know no oil pressure true i'm gonna order one then and then uh just to record yeah so now we're gonna loosen up the rockers and that'll free up the cam and we'll take out the cam one valve cover we're gonna take the other valve cover off and yeah all right so we're about to loosen all the rockers now. Alright, all right, these are all loose. Loosen up all the other side. So now the cam is free. Just kind of it around. Get the lobes out. There we go. The old schlong of schlong. Just gotta play with it. It'll come out. It's a long one? Yes, sir. Stop. Stop cam. Stop cam. Uh, I don't know why this had ARP heads to, but... I mean, the cam looks healthy, though. No. Yeah, no majors. No scoring. scarring, nothing. Scarring or scoring, boy? <laughs> like... Both. True, true, true. Be good. So, I'm going to prep the other one. Yeah, move it up. Got to lube it up, boy. He knows how to do that. <laughs> lube the shit. Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's pull it out. All right, guys. So this is the specs on the cam. So this is considered a sloppy stage two cam. Um, it does have different type of names too. There's another name for it, but it's known as a sloppy stage two. Um, yeah. So this is right here. So we're gonna get this bad boy out, and we're gonna be using some assembly lube to lube it up. Yeah, always lube it up. Yeah, you never want to go and dry, fellas. <laughs> so let's lube it up. Lube it up. So, you know, you want to put the lube in the hand. Yeah. You should probably wear gloves for this, but. Yeah, you should. AutoZone had like $50 gloves I was like, trying to buy. So, you, know, you want to just, you know, you want to just get your shaft uh -huh. nice and lube. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice shot. Yeah, I already can see all the heads talking shit in the comments. <laughs> how how not to lube your cam. Right. You know, you have that one guy's like, it's because he didn't wash his hands and it's going to be material it's in his gonna hand. It's going to be contaminated. Contaminate the cam. Hey, cut, bro. that probably is a thing, too. I ain't gonna I'm lie. sure. Damn, yeah, that thing's sticky. Do you think it needs more or no? No, I think it should be good. All right, so. Make sure you get the top, get the tip, get everything. Oh, oh shit, I got you. <laughs> boy. Yeah, that's good. Right. So, so now. Two? Yeah, about two. We get these bolts out so we can drive it in there. You see? Just put these bolts and they'll help you stick it in at the end. Just for leverage. Same thing when I took it out. Yes, sir. Uh, no, just get it in there. And then it's the same thing as taking it out. You just kind of Got to guide it and work it. <clears throat> you feel like you hit something, just kind of turn it. And it'll slowly go in there. There you go, boy. But yeah, wear gloves, guys. <laughs> yeah. We can, you can wash your hand now. Yeah, take your gloves off, <laughs> take the rockers off completely, and 
and change the valve springs. Yeah, so we'll show you guys right now the valve springs. Let me just clean my hands. Yes, sir. All right, guys, what is up? It's been a week since those last clips. Uh, we ended up messing up the tool that we used that we had ordered. So we tried to weld it. I mean, it, yeah, it was bad. We we broke it. We stripped it. So we order, I ordered a new tool. My cousin's not here right now, but uh, I'm going to be doing the spring install myself. So I already tested out the tool and I got two springs on already. So I'll show you guys the pack springs right here. They're a little more uh, stronger than the OEM ones. They're not dual valve springs, but uh, it is a lot more thicker. You can tell right there, those are the new ones, those are the old ones. And yeah, you could tell they're a lot stronger. So, I mean, this is what's recommended for this cam. So I'll be posting all the links down below on the description so you guys can order this sloppy stage two setup. But yeah, so this is a tool right here we have from Amazon. This was about 30 bucks. And this is kind of how you set it up. So something like that. I'll set it up right now on the head so you guys can see. Also, how you how you do this without taking the heads off is you you spin the crank to get the piston to the top. And as you can see right here, the piston's all the way down, and right here the piston's up. That way the valves don't fall down. The piston holds it up. So see that's all the way down. That's all the way down too. And this one is up, so you could do these two springs right here. So I'm gonna set up the tool so you guys can see how I do it. All right, so I already got them kind of on. So you just gotta compress this all the way down. Right, my bad. All the way down. It still had a little more room. I could have went too, but you don't want to over tighten this this nut because it will mess up the strips on the threads on this. And that's what happened to the old tool we were using. So to get these guys in the little lockers, I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure of the name, but these little lock things, you have to kind of mess with them, like move them around. I did give them a couple baby taps with the flathead and you could just move them around until they're both kind of look like that. Then you just decompress it now. Sides are good. Decompress it. And you do not want to use a power tool for this, nothing like that. Just use a ratchet. You don't want because it, it strips really easy. Because this is like some cheap metal, so. There you go on there so now i'm gonna move the crank around and get another one to top to, another piston to the top that way i could keep going and you just want to do all the valves i mean all the springs till you're done and yeah so i think i'm gonna end the video here i did order the that cam gasket my cousin was showing and i had got it but it's a it was flat right i ended up getting one of these packages from Amazon, it was flat, and I think I threw it away. I thought it was empty, so I'm gonna go look at my. I'm gonna go look inside the house and see if it's in there. If not, I'm gonna have to order a new one. It was like 20 bucks, but that's my fault. I don't know why I didn't bother to open it. I just was like, oh, they sent a freaking empty one. I thought someone had already opened it, but anyways, yeah, about to put the rest of the valves on, the valve springs on, and then uh, slap everything back on the top. That way I can seal back the valve covers. Then. Might order an oil pump. I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use a stock oil pump or if I should order a new one. I might order a new one. Then we'll be getting the car inside the garage to start taking the motor out. I do have to put the motor mounts on this and the oil pan that's currently in the LS1. And yeah, hopefully get this Mustang back up and going and with a nice little chop. We'll see how much power we could get out the sloppy two on a stock 5.3. But yeah, guys, till the next one. Keep the streets louder.